Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. The Peloponnese is now ours, and in the uh, in the sense of speediness, with the version 0.6 coming out very soon, guys. What we're going to be doing is over here in India, we are just going to be sieging down. We're not going to do any of these battles unless we get attacked. Uh, in Armenia, similar situation. I'm going to try and auto-resolve as much as possible and just focus all of our efforts and our time on Greece. And we won that quite nicely. Good, once again. So let's enslave. And uh, yeah, Armenia is very much, pretty much dead now. I don't think we need to take out Atropatine. They have been our allies since the very start. But if we do take out Armenia, then uh, I'm not averse to taking out Atropatine, to be fair. I don't mind. I think we might still be able to do that. But let's see how far we get. Because ideally, the main, the main thing we want to focus on is Greece, of course. Trying to take Greece, because that really is the heart of our culture. And where we originated from. So, of course, we want to take it and be successful in that area. So, let's get over to Greece. Now, we do have this little battle here. And when I say little, quite large battle. They've got so much infantry and all of it is fantastic. Really elite infantry. Three generals as well. What do we have? I mean, we've got fantastic infantry too. And really good cavalry. And some elephants. Ooh. This is a spicy one. What do they have inside? They've got more royal peltas. I mean, if we attack from here, we go the furthest right we can do. And block these guys coming in. I think that's the only way we win this. But let us try it. And let's see whether we can do it. If not, we'll have to retreat and potentially go fight that army on the battlefield uh, but for now let's try it and let's see what we can do so let's get into the battle guys now trouble begins we did not seek war but we are facing battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field uh well let's wait a little bit because it's raining quite heavily that's better nice bit of sunshine um, honestly, I think, like, surely this is where they're coming in for from. This is the coast here. So, surely they're coming in from down that road. So, honestly, we are going to take the walls. But we're going to take them in a little bit of a different place. Um, so I shouldn't have done that, actually. So, let's get these guys, all the archers on the walls. Of course, we're doing the, the solid archer tactic. Come on, guys. Pick the flipping things up. Pick them up, you bastards. You silly bastards. You're taking the piss. Pick the thing up, you daft bastards. Come on. There we are. Bloody hell. Right. Well, <laughs> good start to the video, guys. Good start. Let's go. <laughs> Get these guys. Can go there. These guys there. These guys, potentially there as well, and there. Hi, Pastis. Let's bring you here. Let's bring all of these boys over here, and we're going to get as far across this way as possible. And we're going to put the unit banners back on, because for some reason, they are off again. Right, get you, and you guys come here, and Ellie's over here as well. Now, let's see where they come in from. There they are. Knew they would do that. They have lots and lots of infantry. If they want to get across to the settlement, be my guest, my friends. Be my guest. We're not going to have any archers, but that doesn't matter too much. And cavalry-wise, let's go and cut them off. If they want to try and come across, we're going to cut them off completely. Ellie's... Uh, Ellie's are only the, the only real elephants, uh, the only real uh, guys here, actually, aren't they? Let's maybe come across further if we can. You guys here. I know it's a long way to go, but we shall be fine, I think. If they charge, we will use our high pastis and our elephants. 
they have anyone on the walls? No. So let's go then. I know we're going to take a bit of damage, but it shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. Here comes their general. So let us bring our cavalry back across this way. I know you're going to get a little bit tired, my men. They want to go for the Ellies, do they? And the high pass this. What a terrible idea, general. Come on, man. Go, go, go. You guys get around. And, yeah, they, they want to get to the city, but they can't. Can we get them? Can we get the Gemrons? Gem Ge guys, <laughs> come on. Let's kill them. Right then, are they all in the city yet? Settlement, uh, battle map, should I say? Yes, Cav, let's go. Well, here comes the more generals' bodyguards. Brace, men! I know you're getting attacked in the flank, but we've got high pastors here who are specialized cavalry killers. Nice, 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 nice. Kill those boys! Kill those boys! Right, out, 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 out! Damn spot! What are you? The Royal Pelzas. We don't want to mess with them at all. In fact, the high pastors do. That's fine. You guys get in there. We've used pretty much all our javis now. And uh, is that the general? General running away again. Right then, men. Time to come forwards. Don't know what they're doing, but they're not really doing much, are they? How are we doing via the walls? I wish you could run with ladders. That would be excellent, but you cannot. It doesn't really matter that they're going into the city. When they retreat, they'll all go in the city, which is fine for us, honestly. So what I kind of want to do is take this gate so they have to run the whole way around the city, getting shot the whole way. This gate too. So they'll either have to run all the way around there or all the way around the back. Uh, a bit gamey, but it should save us a bit of time. So that'll be good. Kill those royal peltasts. In fact, Ellie's, let's have a little charge, shall we? The ladders are in place and our men are now Come on, the ladders. Let's go. Get up. Let's keep on uh, keep on blocking them off. Where's our cav? All the way up here. I think we'll come around this way. Try to take on their cav if we can. Mercenary Thracian infantry. Oh dear. They're going to be very good. Our Aguirre speeders, though, are very good as well. They're just trying to get out, out of the way here. Which is kind of funny. Let's get there. High pass this. Keep coming. Kill them. You said that before, my friend. You said that before. Go, men, go. Oh, get them. Yes. Ellie's doing their work. Let's go. Let's have a go at the mercenary Thracians. High pastists. Or whoever was here. You two. Let's go. Up this way. Right, let's go straight for those archers. Don't want any more flaming arrows coming down on us. You guys get up here. You guys have made them run. How are we doing on the walls? Do we have anyone fully up just yet? Not quite. So, you guys, when you get there, I want you to get there. Actually, in fact, I want you to get all the way around to here. No, it's going to take you some time, but that's not a problem. You guys get there. You guys just come through here for a second. You guys get... Uh, we don't really need to take too many more walls, to be honest. But you guys just get through there. We've taken the gate, so now you can actually stop here now. And just fire down that way. Good. Once you've taken this one, you guys can come up this way as well. Taking it now? Good. Fantastic. You guys get there. You guys all the way around so it stops them escaping through this way. How are we doing up here now? Pretty darn well, I've got to say. Right. Charge in there. You guys in there as well. Get you guys up this way. Who do we have who's a nice, easy target? Oh, we are just absolutely just pummeling this army into submission. Let's get the Ellies nearby because even if we don't charge in with them, they will scare the enemy. Yes, come on, the boys. Let's go there, Hetai Roy. 
Can we get behind here, maybe? Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Well, just keep going, then. Kill the Agima. And, yeah, everyone is about to start running now. Oh, my God. That's what we like to see, boys. Come on. Don't want them fighting to the death. Ellie's, let's get after him. Wow, well, that... Yeah, now you can see. They are going to run the whole way around this way. The whole way around. Which is great for us. And I kind of want to get archers stationed on the walls nearby. So, well, you guys are coming this way. So I kind of feel like getting someone, getting you guys down here will be good. How are we looking up here now? Oh, it's just absolute chaos, isn't it? It's chaos. They, do, they must not have many men left. Right then. Right then, men. Time to get through the gates. Get the high pass this. We're going to actually walk these men. So what I will do, guys, I will come back to you very soon when we have everyone inside the city and ready to take the city. So here we are, guys. I actually stationed this archer over here to kill anyone that comes this way. But unfortunately, they all died by the towers. <laughs> all the retreating boys. They did station some guys here, but you can see they have been shot to pieces. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, time to get inside the city. I think in terms of who we'll use, let's use the uh, gear. I mean, we can use the cav for a bit of it. So let's get the cav there. Then let's get the Agira speeders coming through this way. Then the high passes can come around this way if they want. It's not really going to make much difference. Everyone's a bit more... Uh, they're still fresh now, which is fantastic what we want to see and uh, do we want to get you boys down to fire upon them probably is a good option oh all the agiris be well i will just we'll just grind them in the middle we don't need to do anything fancier than that do we we've got the power we've got the pace we got the pair and the pace my friends let's go and uh, we'll bring the cavalry through here Okay, they've gone for the charge. Killed him straight away. Very nice. And what do they have? Just Thurio 4, right? That should not be a problem. Let's get in. Get a few of you. You guys back here. If you could, like, come over here, that would be better. And let's get a charge off on them. Should not be a problem for us to beat the Thurio 4, right here. Oh, dearie me. They're getting absolutely shredded. Nice. Well, what a glorious victory. 2,200. That was very nice indeed. That was a proper elite army as well. Oh, glorious. I passed this. So, 226. 321 for those Agira Speeders. That is glorious. Some of the Cretan archers doing very well as well. And the elephants, 160. Oh, glorious, glorious, glorious. Well, anyway, guys, I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And what a glorious battle. Eritrea is now ours. Thank you. Thank you. Glorious Macedon. Goodbye, many of those people. Over to our lands. <laughs> and uh, destroy the Antigonid recruitment as well. And trying to hear her, as usual. It's actually not too bad a town. It is a large city. Got the ship right, so more trade. Already making 1,400. And Eumenion has grown. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's nice to see these uh, places on Crete getting a bit of extra experience. Now named after our legendary commanders. The Island of Heroes, I think we can call it. Alketia, Antiochia, Zabinas. Antiochia Thoimamenon, Antiochia Oikonomon, Ariathon, and Dragorion, and Eumenion. Fantastic. What a glorious place to be. But uh, I think we're at the end turn. Like I said at the start, I have done my construction from last time, so you'll see a big difference in the monies from the last episode. But that is because I did the construction in between episodes. So, 
Let us... Re recruiting everywhere. We are. Fantastic. How are we doing recruitment-wise over here in Pergamon? Pretty darn good, to be honest. Nice. Anywhere else we can recruit properly. Can recruit all right here, actually. It's probably worth going for... Oh, we can't get any more barracks. Why do we only... We don't get a gear of speed as here. Or do we have to go the next level barracks? Level 5 for them. Probably. We could get decent cavalry stables, though. Uh, yeah, that, so those two are the best places. And then also, across here, what I want to do is make sure we get a bit of a navy. So that we are ready to ship this army across. Because when this army is across and ready to go, this... Uh, uh, sorry, Cataphract Army. When that army's done, we are going to send it all the way to Greece. And where are we actually waiting for that army to come back to? To Selefkos up here. And Selefkos can go after that. Uh, we'll send the Mercenary Army up north after these settlements. Doesn't look like, you know, Armenia has much left to offer. So we can send them directly north to those settlements and take those and we shall be fine. So let's press the end turn. Let's see where we get up to. I hope you're all doing well, guys. And press the right click. And I cannot wait for 0.6. Not long to go now. Ah, oh, we've got this army as well. <laughs> and Dragoras the Cruel. Forgot about you, my friend. Uh, get those. Next turn, you'll be able to take that. And that should be Cappadocia deaded. Which should be nice. Ah, oh, Ptolemies, my friends. How are you doing? Uh, well, I think it's likely we're going to have to play this. Oh, I really want to press the auto resolve because of those horse archers. Let's do it. No! Oh! God damn it, man. Oh, no. Terrible. Never auto-resolve, I know, I know. But I just didn't want to bloody take it because of the uh, the horse archers would be a nightmare to deal with. We need a general down here to just get mercenaries. I don't want to bother recruiting an army. Oh, God. Well, uh, where did that army get recruited from? That's the main question. It wasn't here, was it? Definitely not. I mean, you're not actually that bad as a recruitment hub. But where actually was the recruitment hub? That's the question. Is it all the way up here? Don't worry. Ptolemies will be dead. Yeah, it's there. By the time we uh, finish finish this. So while we're, you know, while we're marching up there, we are going to recruit more troops. I think two of you. Uh, I'll just get some more Thorakitai. I've got another town that grows. And drag a Ryan this time. Fantastic. Nice. Awesome. We, of course... Oh, it looks like we're the strongest faction as well now, which means we're stronger than Rome itself, which is glorious. Although Rome hasn't expanded very much, so uh, classic. Uh, and we've got lots of buildings being built. This battle it doesn't look like much, but it probably will destroy our troops if we took that. So we didn't lose any in this siege, though. It's enslaved. Do we have anyone we can send across? Probably. Yes. If we carry on going. So let's get this there. Move out. You go there. And yes. let's see if we can get one of you into there. Peloponnese is pretty much ours now, which is great. 40% only. Not fantastic. Some of these places are pretty upset on the first turn each time. 55%. Well, I think we risk it. We'll repair those. We'll get that. And I think it's fine to risk it. So who do we go after next? I think, first of all, let's do this. So that we can auto-resolve this battle. So we don't need to spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes on this battle itself. They inflicted 150. That's actually fine. That's something that we don't have a problem with. This army, though, is pretty darn ragged now, isn't it? Where shall we go to retrain? Probably over here. Who leads this army? Is it Diodotus? We've also got Argos over here. 
Mercenary 304 are in there. Alketas, actually. Well, we don't need that mercenary hoplite, so let's get out. And it's still on 60%. Fantastic. So... Put that to low, and that's plenty. So let's get straight across down to Githion and get these boys retrained. Pretty damaged army, in, in all honesty. And we need two more archers with this army. So we've got two archers in Marcias. So I wonder if we can build... Ooh. Well, we'll take them out and we'll give them more games or something. I think that'll be fine. Get rid of the Achaean recruitment hub. Smash that out the way. And let's get in here Shrine 2. Hero, what shrines do they have? We've got second level of Dionysus. Well, let's leave that there for now until we've got our own settlement. And I think it's time we go after Athens. The cradle of civilization in these parts. And then we'll go on to the Boeotians. And then everyone else. So, are we happy here now? We are. Right then. Zoilos. Zoilos, the island commander. <laughs> he has been destroying all of these uh, settlements on the island. How is that? Zero percent. I mean, not, not surprising. Let's get two guys across there. You good? 30%. Wow. That's not what we like to see. <laughs> that is not what we like to see, boys. Still 30%. You are taking the pass. Your monthly games, and we'll get one more person in there, and I think that'll be fine. For both cities, most likely. Oh, we, we were building the Shrine to Hero in here, weren't we? Nope. Oh, we can get the second level Shrine to Hero in Eritrea. They get trying to hear it. Oh, did we build that last time? Probably. Let's get the shrine to Taiki then. This one as well. Oh, we are getting that. But let's just pop in that just for now. We're going to siege that down. Now we've got to choose where we want to go with Diodotus. You're going to lead us into a new war? That looks like a huge city. It is. Oof. Athens is a huge city too. Time to go after Athens. And... If they take this battle, which they will... Oh, they've got their own elephants. Wow. Wow. What are these boys? Epibati. That's a, one of the coolest looking of the old uh, unit cards. We're going to not take that battle just yet, though. How's everyone? 60% over here. Let's get you boys in there, then. I think that'll be fine. There's a little bit of an unrest on the Peloponnese as this massive marauding army has just come and <laughs> taken them out. Uh, like I said, we need two archers, which we have, and we need another cavalry. So do we have access to getting a good cavalry? Or we could get an elephant. Uh, I mean, the elephants are fun. So yeah, let's just go for the elephant. Uh, they're not the most useful, but they are just incredibly fun. So, let's just get them. And then in Messene, we're still getting more Agira Speeders. Any of these places worth getting recruitment hubs? Probably there. So, we've got a fourth one. Mantinea. Corinth, definitely, actually. Let's go for that then in Corinth. But Argos as well. Good for infantry, these two. So, we'll take that. Oh, we need to destroy this. Get some extra cash. Uh, and less so over the other places. So we'll get recruitment hubs there as well. And then I think that's pretty much everywhere. Nowhere else has that good a bit, uh, good recruitment building. So, yeah, better to do that. And we'll take that battle in a little bit. We've got those guys sieging down. Got these guys getting retrained. We've got another army being made over here. How big is this army now? We've got the Hetairoid. We're getting the four more of those. We've got elephants. Uh, so we just need a few more. Wait, let's count. Let's count. Let's, let, let's do this properly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the four is 13. 15. 15 with those boys, 16 with four hypastists. So, let's 
go for that. Three. That's three turns. So we'll go for three high pastas in here and two in here. And I think that's right. Also, we do need to get a general's bodyguard. So I'm thinking we just recruit one. Like, <laughs> we don't have that many generals around here anymore. They're all starting to die off. Uh, and no one really that good. So, yeah, we might as well just do that. <laughs> right. Uh, my ass, you are going to these guys over here. How many turns left has that got? Two turns. Well, we're going to lose it in that time. Who was going to pick up the elephants, by the way? Not you, Andragoras. You, wasn't it? Worse, bad Alketas. You were going to pick up the elephants. So let's go up this way. I don't think Cappadocia is going to be alive for much longer, though. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> Crapadocia is dead. Finally. That has been a war since pretty much the start of the campaign, guys. Oh, and we've got a Seleucid recruitment in here as well. Pretty cool. We can't recruit anything, though. Really? Ah, probably because we don't have the Greek colonies. Oh, dear. Anyone we can leave behind or anybody that can govern here? How long will it take for you to get there? Two turns. Let's try it. Let's try and leave 308% public order right now. That's not too bad. Cappadocia is now dead. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Uh, what are we doing over here, though? That's the question. Uh, weren't we building you into a recruitment hub? We were. But we can't recruit anything because we need the Greek colony. So let's put that in front of the roads, definitely. What about this minor city? Yeah, not a recruitment hub either. Uh, it's just rebel, uh, sorry, mercenaries for this army really, isn't it? Uh, well, you, where is the rest of our armies? We've got to check the ones that we are retraining to make sure we are still retraining them. You guys get there. Then also we need to recruit some ships. More ships. Let's recruit a few. I just don't want to lose this army <laughs> on the way. That would be terrible, terrible, terrible. Are you not recruiting any? No. Let's get another one then. So, this army. Pretty much ready to go. Needs one more unit, which is the general. And then I think we'll take... I want to take another unit. Probably just another archer. So we'll just take another archer off them. So we've got another unit. And that'll be fine. And all those boys are getting retrained. Glorious. And then we'll nearly have time for the cataphract army. Right. <laughs> we've only just finished dealing with those armies. Jesus Christ. It's tough <laughs> when you've got four million armies. Like I say, when you're uh, just just expanding in one direction, it's a lot easier to keep track of everything. When you're doing stuff like this, it's much harder. Like I say, we're not going to do any like battles up there. Uh, you guys are tr doing that. And was there an army in Pergamon retraining? No, it's just training now. Good, glorious. Well, let's do this battle then. Another huge battle. Taking out Athens. I wonder whether we can take them out in one turn. That'll stop them getting a doom stack. So that'll be pretty good if we can do it. So, got their own elephants. So elephants versus elephants, my friends. Elephants versus elephants. And we've got to try and destroy these whole armies. So I will see you on the battlefield. Here we are, guys. And this is going to be a glorious battle, isn't it? It's going to be fantastic. Let's get our Agira Speeders in the front line and our Agira Speeders in the back line as well. Group you boys together. Let's go. And we've got these guys. Let's skirmish a little bit to start, although skirmishing in this game doesn't really tend to happen very often. Really need to focus with the archers on their elephants. Oof, they do have a big... It's a juicy little army, that, isn't it? Let's get forward. 
Let's bring our Agira Speeders forward as well. And these are Gira Speeders. Like, we look like we've got a really small front line. But we actually don't. Ideally, I want to get you guys in range of the old... Oh, they're just going for the charge. Shoot them. Shoot them. Come on. Shoot them. Come on. Absolutely flying. Let's make them go mad. These are the Indian War Elephants. Which are really cool looking uh, unit, to be fair. Uh, right, let's get uh, let's get behind. Uh, we're off that. That's good. Let's bring our cab. Oh, here come the Ellies. Oh dear me. Are we going to go for Ellie versus Ellie warfare or not? We've got also Javi guys here, so they're all on fire at will. So they should be chucking Javis at the Ellies. Okay, they've gone and retreated now. Good. That's what we like to see. And you guys, once again, start firing at the Ellies if you can. Put you on guard mode so that if you can't, you won't. Right, let's slowly make our way forward. When I say slow, probably quite fast. If we burn one of the elephants, I think they'll all go mad. So, let's hope we do that. Right. What is the main bulk of their army? Right. We're gonna we're gonna bum rush them now. Okay. Maybe we're not. Do, 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 do. What a song! This is just so epic, isn't it? Come on, this battle. Let's go. But this is a big battle for the boys. Big old battle for the boys. Let's go. Bang. Come on, boys. Move forward. Move forward, men. Quick, quick, quick. All right, really got to be careful with my cavalry. But they do not get intercepted by the Ellies. Because the Ellies, of course, are absolute beastly boys against cavalry. I don't know. They, just don't, they don't seem to have that much infantry in this army. Let's move forward. And Aguirre Speedes. Let's get you forward as well. Archers, wrong people. Target the bloody elephants, you fools. See, what do they... It's just all skirmishes and cav. What is going on? What is all this? More epibati and everything. You should be able to fire your javis now. Oh, they've gone mad. Good, 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 good. Let them go. Then they might turn and attack us like they have just done. But hopefully they turn away. Good, go, go. Kill your own men. Yes. Right, let's get forward. We don't need to fire on fire arrows anymore. Right, let's uh, let's get in there. You guys halt. You guys halt too. And you guys turn. You guys get there. Protect the back. You guys come forward. You guys should be firing your javis. Looks like you have. So let's get you around the side now. Ideally. Wherever the mad, the elephants have gone mad over there. That's good. Let's get the Thuriophoroi cavalry. Let's keep coming. Okay, here comes the cavalry. Oh, what is this? Hoplites with goal experience. We don't want to deal with that really. So let's get out for a second. Just calm down for a second. We don't want to take any unnecessary losses if we don't have to. Right, archers. You need to start firing into all of their... You know, uh, filthy skirmisher troops that we hate with a passion. Okay, what are you? You bastards. <laughs> that was sneaky. You sneaky bastards. Come on, we got to catch him. No, it looks like we're not going to. Uh, well, let's keep coming around this way. Oh, go through them. Go, go, go. Ellie's go. That's more. They're just Mr. Four Eyes. That's all right. Kill them. Turn. Turn. There we are. That's good. Good good turn, actually, on the charge. Ah, oh, go on the Ellies. Where are my Ellies? They're, they're actually probably needed right now. Let's leave this leave the uh, chariots for now. Right, let's go after these boys. They're gonna uh, if they're gonna squish themselves against my troops. 
really good for us. Because they are all skirmishy cav. What are you? They're not skirmishy cav, but let's fire at them anyway. This unit's getting a bit toppled, so we need some support. Let's go straight through the Epibartai. I don't think they'll be a problem for the Ellies. Yeah, kill the general. Kill the general. Everybody kill the general. It's what we like to see. Kill the general all the day. Fantastic. Right. Uh, you boys have broken them. Let's get round. Here come the Ellies. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. We've got to kill all the generals, remember? If you don't kill one of the generals... Oh, they're all withdrawing. No, no, no. Athens, you cowards. You cowards. You absolute cowards. Come back here. I will not stand for such cowardice. God damn it. Huh? Bloody cowards. Bloody Athenian cowards. I can't believe it. Right, Ellie's, let's get out before we lose any men unnecessarily. Especially when they're just deciding to, uh, to run away like the cowards they are. Well, we'll leave them. We'll kill everyone else. You've abandoned the rest of your army to die, sir. How do you feel about that one, then? Come on, Ellie's. Let's go. I know you're like... <laughs> I don't even know who that was. Alright, get them. Right, cavalry. Go. Uh, let's speed up everything else. Kill all of this Epibartai. Good. Now kill these. We'll kill everyone that we can. What a weird army composition this was, I've got to say. Very strange. Well, we'll end the battle there because everyone else has made it to the edge, basically. And, I mean, 284. That's actually <laughs> quite close to being fully destroyed, but not quite, which is a bit unfortunate. So, But it'll be fine. Athens should not survive this. So I'll see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory indeed, but not glorious enough to take the settlement. Fortunately, they did escape with quite a few troops and a few generals. That's the main thing. But I think auto-resolving that won't be too much of a problem. I mean, in fact, would it let us... No. It, will, it won't take the elephants to break down those gates, apparently. So that's fine. Um, these guys, retraining. Then we'll go after the Boeotians. Then we'll go after the I so Aeolians. Uh, Aetolians. And then we'll just take out the rest of Macedon. Epirus will be there as well. I kind of want to stay allied with Epirus to start with. Epirus isn't 100% necessary for the reconquest of Alexander's empire. But we'll take it nonetheless. <laughs> Main thing is taking Macedon all the way up to at least Pella, pretty much. And Thessalonica. So taking those seats of power uh, would be pretty cool. So, we've only got 50,000 left because we have recruited an absolute load in this turn. So, let's just uh, do a few buildings. Should be nice and quick with these ones. Uh, Antiochia, Migdonia. Let's go for the Scriptorian. Uh, Ephesus over here. Let's go for the Great Agora. Making quite a bit of money now, Ephesus. Good. Apamea Kibotos. Oh, 8,000 from this place. Let's go with that again. Sagalassos, pretty useless to be fair. It's fully Greek now as well, so not really any point. Like, we can get the academy just for some extra lore. Elusa, though, probably worth the Great Agora, even though it only makes 3,000 or so. Uh, Europos Ragai, all the way up here. Uh, could go for the awesome Temple of Hera. Bit of extra lore for the boys. Nicomedia, let's go for the Dockyard. It's only 6,000 here as well. Just for some extra trade, we'll go for the Scriptorium in Alexandria Troas. Smyrna, let's go for the Scriptorium as well. Try and get these generals some better traits. Uh, let's just go for some population growth here. It's only a large city, <laughs> which is pretty good. Oh, Militia Barracks in Miloranda. That's a good option for the law. Get a shrine to Hephaestus there. And Katayon. Let's just go for a shrine to Tyke. Good. Well. 
plenty going on. Let's uh, press the end turn one more time. And uh, let's see what we uh, can get up to. Ah, Zranka. Forgot about that. We're going to send Zranki boy down the coast, I think, to try and take places that have ports uh, in India. But yeah, should be pretty good. Who else? Who else dares? We are, we are pretty much unstoppable now at this point, aren't we? Like, our empire is monstrous and quite scary. So, it's take it, yeah, it's it's 80,000 it reduces when you go over 200,000. So, the more money you do make, it's still better. It's not like a percentage, I don't think. I think it looks like it's just based on, uh, uh, what do you call it? Just taking 80,000 in general off you. Lots of archers in this army. We'll take an extra one of these boys. I actually don't know where the nearest settlement is. <laughs> That's part of the problem. But apparently we can walk down here. Apparently there's a road here. Hopefully there's built roads around this region because... Otherwise we will just be walking through the desert uh, for 40 years. <laughs> Apamea Siticane has grown. Oh, glorious. Even though you have zero growth. Praxinos, the builder, has died in Alexandria. But Alexandria is actually not, not upset. So that's fine. Uh, we had a spy that died as well, and Albleros, Albleros has come of age. It's actually a decent little governor. Right, well that's good because we do have some very rich regions around here that don't have governors. It looks like uh, Bactria Zariaspa, 12,000 a turn is the one to go for. But I just want to check all these ones as well. 7,000 in Antiochia, Marginae. You're 8,000 here as well. That's crazy. Some obscene amount of cash going through some of these settlements. Well, where were you? You're here. Let's get you to Bactra Zariaspa. Nice. That'll be fantastic. Like I say, the armies in India, they can just siege them down. I know it's going to take a few turns, but I don't think... Yeah, only two more turns for that one. Five turns for that one, though. And while that's happening, we can start building this to be a bit of a better recruitment hub as well. Lots more people being born, and that is likely because, of course, we've taken a load... Getai! The Getai are the most advanced faction in the world! Are you fucking kidding me? The Getai! What? What? That's... That is... That is... Ugh. I'm speechless. That is fucking ridiculous. Come on, bro. Stupid. How is that... How? How is that even a thing? I'll take my anger out on Athens. Die! No, it's all right. <laughs> we'll enslave instead. Oh, goodbye, Athens. You had such an unceremonious war with us. Like, there was no... There's no gravitas to that war. One battle and you're dead. <laughs> you fools! You fools. But uh, we have taken Athens, though, which is pretty darn good. And we might as well repair everything. What is the Pantheon that they have built? They've got a full-size theater. Uh, civic construction, whatever. It's shite, but uh, it's not too bad. Let's get rid of uh, this. They did not build up much recruitment stuff. But in fact, let us build that. And have we retrained everyone here yet? Nope, not quite. Let's get that. We got the elephant for us, didn't we? Uh, and we were going to take, say, like two of these archers. So that's fine. Let's keep on recruiting. I think we were recruiting more of the Agira Speed as we were. Good. So let's make sure they're queued in. Get those two boys in there. This army, yeah, you're just recruiting people for governance. You're recruiting them. Where else are we building stuff for recruitment? These two places. Good, that's fine. I do want to be building all, all in this region, just because it's so rich and so big, the cities. So we might as well uh, keep on building in this whole region. Let's get the shipwright over here. In Sikion, let's also get the shipwright. More trade that we can get, the better. 
How about in Hermione? Looks like Hermione's a bit happy. Make sure we get a port there, definitely. Uh, and over this way, don't want the catapult range, but we can get the armor at. Uh, we're building that there, that there, and that there. That's fine. We're building a recruitment hub in Athens. Good. Right, let's uh, take this settlement now. Shouldn't be too much. 246. Not really that bad. One set. This army has... So there's one more settlement we need to take. Are you happy now? You are. Good. Just that first turn, there's a bit of unrest, which makes complete sense. Because, <laughs> of course, we have just taken their region. We can actually walk across here as well, which is great. Where is the settlement? Is It's right on the edge here, is it? There we are. Oreos! <laughs> Oreos! Whoop, whoop. Oh, we can actually... Because we've got an Ellie. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> well, the island is ours now. Pretty nice. So, what I kind of want to do with this army, though, is, is retrain it first. Then come back across around this way. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll send you guys up to Oreos. Where is my navy? I've got two navies. Uh, oh, I did have two navies. Did one of my navies die? I think one of them did die, didn't it? Well, let's come around this way. And we'll wait for them for next turn. What is that? Are those the Antigonids? Oh, they think they're, like, you know, doing something very special by doing this. <laughs> But they're just being useless. <laughs> Classic Antigonids. Honestly, though, at this point... Let's come out of the city. At this point, this secondary army of Selefkos... It could also go to Greece. Like, is there any need for it to go north? If we send... If we sent Alketas and Dragoras north, or into these lands anyway. Um, that is Armenia's capital now. Like, is there any need for another army to go this way? Unless we're going to take out Atropatine, which I don't think we need to. Aren't they? Are they not our uh, protectorate? Let's go on to diplomacy. Uh... Uh, where's Atropatine, these guys? We're also allied with the Siraki, so we don't really need to worry about anything from then. Uh, where's Atropatine then on this list? There we are, right at the bottom. Faction Treasury Modest. Are you kidding me? 200,000 a turn. I mean... I think we just need to send a diplomat out that way and just say, become our protectorate. Otherwise, we kill you. <laughs> uh, Katayan has expanded. Good. Let's get that in there, then. Where's Alketas? Oh, sorry. This is Hermayas. So, we got Hermayas sending this, coming this way as well. So, we definitely don't need um, Selefkos' army. So, Selefkos, my friend, probably time to leave here. We don't really need you in there. And let's come back to... Antioch. It's going to take you a turn or two. And we will send across, you across, via the ports, to many different regions. Uh, and that is the whole army retrained. Uh, so let's keep getting some more cataphracts. Good. So one, you're, once you are down there, let's also make sure we are training more ships. So we've got enough for two navies that are not safe. But relatively safe, <laughs> is what I'm going to say. <laughs> not fully safe, but also, you know, not in a bad situation. So, yeah. So, those two armies are both going to come across to Greece. We've got uh, Mayas on the way over there. And we've also got Alketas up here. So, let's come along. Let's just pop into this set settlement just for a turn or two. Okay, not, not that, but whatever. I mean, if, if you want to kill these rebels, we can do. I want to take the elephants. 150 casualties, not a problem. I want to take both of those. So if we leave behind the Pisidians and the Silesians, 
A Pisidian Asilesian walk into a Cappadocian city. That's got to be the start of a joke somehow. Someone can make a lovely joke down below. <laughs> a Pisidian and a Silesian walk into a Cappadocian bar. Yeah, I can't think of anything. <laughs> no, I'm not attacking my ally. I'm attacking Armenia. Please. Please don't do this to me. Please. Well, Armenia is going to be very dead soon. Uh, and then, yeah, these guys probably can turn on Atropatine if they want to. This army is just an absolute nightmare <laughs> scenario army right now. <laughs> it's just fucked. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So, up here, we are sorted. Nothing to do. Down here, they'll move automatically. Don't need to worry about that. Over here, this is the most important thing. You guys are there. You guys are still training. Are we training everywhere else? We are. Fantastic. You are staying in Athens for a turn at least. And then this island should be pretty good. Uh, until next turn. So we just need to wait till next turn. Let's get rid of this. And let's get... Repair that. Get some roads in here and then the Shrine to Hera. In fact, Shrine to Hera, then roads. And yeah, that's good. That is good. Very nice indeed. We're in a very good situation, I think. So. Hmm. Anything else to do? I think we're good. I think we're good. Calm down now. Calm down. I want to just have a look. Mazaka, how much money are you making? 11,000. How much is Seleucia making? That's really the question. That's Uruk. Where's Seleucia up here? 23,000. That's only with 9 management as well. If there was someone with 10, we'd be making even more. 23,000 from one settlement. Wow. That's a pretty spicy meatball. Uh, can we get a general? In fact, let's recruit the general first. Because we need a general for the next army. So, guys, well, I think we're going to leave it there. I'm going to do my building um, off camera again. But, uh, yeah. Or we could just finish. Let's just finish on some building, some nice, calming building for you guys. If you have enjoyed the video and you don't want to watch the building, then please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Um, and yeah, I'm going to just do some building just to finish off on, which should be quite nice and chilled. Got 132,000 this turn to, uh, to build what we want. So irrigation, uh, Arbella, we've got the highest level academy we can do. So let's get the shrine to Taiki. Uruk got that. Uruk really doesn't need much. Let's just get the Lyceum. Susa also doesn't need much, so let's leave that one. Sardis. Thinking Sardis, let's... I mean, Sardis is not even a huge city yet, so let's go for the Great Agora. Tarsos got the... That, so let's go for the Dockyard. Let's get even more trade in this area. Hecatompolos all the way up here in the north. Let's go for the Aqueduct. Zadrakata. We got the Dockyard. Should be trading. It's just those three that are trading together, though. That's the problem up here. So let's go for the irrigation, then. Goodbye. Up here in the north. Let's go for that one. Alexandria Prosphasia. Let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. Kizikos got the Agora. Let's go for the Dockyard. Let's get some more trade in some of these regions. We've got a guy governing in Adramition, so let's make sure we get the uh, that. Over here in Thyatira. So poor. Some of these, like, sort of Anatolian cities in the far uh, west have been so, so poor this whole time. And that is mainly because we didn't build in them for such a long time. So it just shows you what difference it can make building or not building in an area over time. And you can see those cities are so poor. Like, some of the places where we have less, uh, that we've had a lot less time are actually much richer now. <laughs> so, yeah. Just shows you what happens when you don't build in an area for an extended period of time. Let's build the Inland Trade Center there. Kadoi, let's build... 
no, let's get the uh, get that, even though the guy might die soon. Kotayon, you're upgrading. Fantastic. Kiros, let's go for the uh, school. Apamea, Syria, let's go for the Great Agora as well. Even though these places aren't the richest, let's go for that in Byblos. Deliche, let's go for the aqueduct as well. Bit more population growth. Babylon, probably not really worth building anything here. Yep, not really. Uh, Nikophorion, let's get that for the uh, general in there. Our Happa, we just built another Scriptorian, so that's fantastic. Let's get an Odeon now. Seleucia Hadaiphon, there we go. <laughs> Actually, relatively rich. Not hugely, but let's get that shrine to take. Uh, Syrinx Tram Tambrax. Let's go for the Agora. Taioki over here. We let's go for the Scriptorian. Mylisa. Let's go for the Scriptorian as well. You can see how many we have built when I've been doing the building things um, off camera. We've built a lot of them. Then we're going to build even more. <laughs> Arsino Calicia as well. Let's go for the Agora. Memphis. Let's go for the Scriptorian. Salamis. Let's go for the... Something to do with trade would be good. So, although how bad is the corruption? It's actually not that bad. Not bad at all. It's about 10%. So, let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. Uh, Alexandria got the Merchant's Quarter. And it doesn't have anyone inside Alexandria anymore. That's fine. I'm not bothered by that. Uh, over here, let's go for Odeon, just in case. Alexandria Susia's building. Hibis. Hibis out here in the wilderness. Let's just build a temple. We don't really need much there. Megali Apollonopolis. Go for the cavalry stables because this is one place. Oh no, this isn't where we can recruit. Where is it that we recruit? It's here, isn't it? So let's go for the cavalry stables there. But Megali Apollonopolis. Apollonopolis. Go for the Agora. <laughs> Metropolis in the center. Let's go for the Agora there as well. By Thinion in the center. Let's go for the public baths. Get them some more happiness and growth. Now Tarka also needs a bit of happiness. So let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. Antiochia, Thymomenon, which is now a minor city, which is glorious to see. Let's get the Agora. Uh, Gangra over here. Let's go for the Docker. Oh, I'm mad, Gangra. I did not realize Gangra actually had a port. That's cool, though. Berenike Dieres all the way down here. We've also got this army down here. Uh, Pimo Lisa, yeah, we've run out of we've run out of cash. No more cash, no cash. We'll get that one. Just to keep Auto Spawner happy. Right then, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. So it has been a pretty nice episode, hasn't it? We've had two monstrous battles against both the Antigonids and uh, Athens. And we had war with Athens for one turn, and now they're gone. So <laughs> Poor Athens. Very disappointing uh, disappointing run from them, really. So, yeah. <laughs> Quite funny, though. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.